Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a little bit of hair. I have been asked by you guys to do a little tutorial on my super curly, kind of vintagey Marilyn Monroe style curls, just really, really big bouncy hair. I thought I would show you, but I'm also gonna show you my hair washing routine. So it's hair washing day in this house. Here we go. This is my hair straightened roughly um, and then it's been left. I've got kind of greasy roots at the moment. I've got some build up in my hair so it's just needing a really good wash. I am really excited to say that this part of the video is sponsored by Redkin. So I'm going to be showing you some of my favourite Redkin products for washing my hair and also protecting my hair and just giving it a little bit of, little bit of love. Obviously at the moment we are not able to go to the hairdressers so I am kind of really making sure to look after my hair just so my hair is in the best condition possible for when we do get out of lockdown and we can I can start playing with my hair a little bit again. So the first thing we're going to do is go for a shower and I'm going to wash my hair and I am going to take you guys with me and be really careful about what we film. To shampoo my hair I'm going to use the Redken Extreme Shampoo. This shampoo is really good for cleansing the hair as well as restoring shine to the hair and keeping the hair nice and strong. So I'm just going to lather that up. I like to shampoo twice. So I'll do the first shampoo, make sure that I massage it in at the roots then drag the foam through my hair. And then I go in for a second time. I always find that it lathers super super well on the second wash. And then for conditioner, I'm going to use the Redken Extreme Conditioner. So it goes hand in hand with the shampoo and the products I'm going to use later. This is amazing for detangling, smoothing and strengthening my hair. Again, just like the shampoo, it fortifies the weaker kind of areas and it leaves my hair super supple and shiny. I like to use a little comb just to make sure there's no tugs in my hair and that usually works a treat. Freshly showered and I have managed to get away with not having to touch my makeup up. So when I get out of the shower, if I'm doing my hair, say I was getting ready for a night out or something like that, I would always wear a robe that I don't get too warm in. So this is just one of the robes that I've got. I'm a bit addicted to robes to be honest. And I love these little towels. This is by a brand called Aquas. It's kind of proven to not damage your hair and it helps dry it twice as fast or something. But something I love to do is wear this while I'm doing my makeup or at night time when I'm doing my skincare. So it just really helps and it absorbs any extra water. Let's get down to business. Okay. I'm going to take my hair out the towel. It should have absorbed most of the moisture. Meow. Nice. I'm going to give my hair a little brush out. That shampoo and conditioner are so great. My hair is never tangly when I use it. And it's just really brilliant, especially for when you're not really getting to the hairdressers. That's probably one of the products that I've used the longest from Redken is the Extreme Range. This is the Redken Extreme Anti-Snap. So this product here is a five in one. Let's call it a haircut in a bottle, shall we? Damage protection power against chemical damage, heat damage from hot hairstyling tools, mechanical damage, surface damage, and hair breakage. So when you use the extreme shampoo and conditioner and this, it reduces breakage by 75%. Again, brilliant when you can't get to the hairdressers for your trim. I've got two pumps because my hair is quite thick. So I'm gonna, first of all, coat the ends. And then I always, because I've still got my blonde bit, I always just apply to the root of my blonde section just to keep it nice and strong. This product's good for all hair types. It's not heavy, so it's not gonna weigh down fine hair. And it's nice and hydrating for medium to thick hair, especially dry hair, which I have definitely got dry hair. This is gonna really help keep split ends at bay and it's gonna reduce the breakage in my hair as well. I'm so glad I got all my extensions out before lockdown. I cannot imagine having to pick them out myself. So I think I'm just making the most of being in the house by looking after my hair so it's in prime condition so when I do get out of here I can do something quite fun with it. So now we've got anti-snap through, I am actually gonna double up on my protection. This is the Redken Extreme Play Safe 230 degrees. So that's what it protects up to. I take one pump of this, it's a bit thicker. And this has been my go-to kind of heat protector for a really long time actually. It also helps hold your style. So using heat protector, obviously it's gonna help protect your hair, but whenever I do this style of hair, it lasts me, no joke, like four days. Again, putting that through the ends of my hair and then up a little bit higher on my blonde section. And then I'm gonna just brush that through again. Perfect. So my hair is super clean protected, everything's nice and sealed in, and now it's time to dry my hair. I'm gonna use my GHD Helios hair dryer. This is the, obviously the limited mint shade, which is stunning. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna blast my hair mostly dry, and then I've got a couple of round brushes just to give it a nice bit of smoothness. OK, 
okay, we're dry. I'm still getting used to curling my fringe with the round brush. I do look a little, something like uh, Charlie's Angels, right? Like the original Charlie's Angels, but I'm digging it. Hair feels great, super clean and smooth and hydrated. And you can see that I've still got my nice chunky chop and I've not had my hair cut for about four months. I've not had a haircut and my hair is still nice and blunt. So that's obviously, it's obviously a good sign. Now for the styling of the hair. So the hair is washed, protected, dried. Everything's all sealed in. And my fringe is gonna get recurled, so I'm just gonna put that back as well. And I'm gonna clip that up. So how I'm gonna do this is alternate curls, okay? So by that, I mean curl one way and then curl the other way, the whole way around my head. I have my GHD hairspray here. I really like this hairspray, actually. I feel like it lasts a long time. I'm using my favorite GHD tool of all time. This is the soft curl tong. And because we've just washed our hair and it's nice and smooth, this is gonna be actually really easy. So I'm gonna grab a section of this hair and I'm gonna curl it away from my face to start with. I'm gonna bring that down my hair, curl it up, open it up a little bit, right down to the ends. And there we go, there we have it. I'm gonna sit here, about 30 seconds, maybe 15 seconds, I'd say. And then instead of pulling the curl out, I open the tongue and I just let it drop, let it cool off. And then I'm gonna move on to the next curl. So I move that curl out of the way and I'm gonna cut this section into two with this hairstyle. Okay, we're gonna curl the different way. So I'm gonna get my barrel and I'm gonna to curl towards my face, right down to the ends of the hair. That's something that I never used to do when I had long hair. I'd always leave the ends free so they're a bit straighter just so it was more beachy, but this is way more glam, I think. It's not beachy at all. Okay, let it drop. There we go. So the curl is facing towards our face, okay? And I said this is for short hair. You could absolutely do this for longer hair. It's just a different style, isn't it? And I feel like my tongue gets hotter, so I don't need to leave it on as long. And then while they are curly so, I'm gonna give them a super gentle hairspray. And then let's do this side. Curl it up, open the barrel a little bit, make sure I've got the ends in there. And this honestly is my favorite way to do my hair just now. It's really feminine and really, it's quite fun, quite glamorous and it lasts ages. I love doing this hair and wearing it really curly one day, curly the next day, then a half up, half down the next day. Woohoo! Curly so, so we leave it like that. We brush it all out at the end. And I practiced this a few times before filming this tutorial so I could really show you guys how to do it. Okay. Something else I really like about this hairstyle is the fact that it actually makes my hair look shorter because I really need to go and see Jack Baxter. Jack Baxter, for those of you that don't know, is my hairdresser. I love him very dearly. I miss him a lot. And yeah, I just can't wait to get back to him to start playing with my hair again. I've got extensions sitting in my room that I can't do myself. Obviously, I need him for it. I just really, we play with my hair quite a lot. So I'm really missing him. That's actually the first time that I tried the shampoo and conditioner I used in this tutorial. Jack Baxter had it in his salon and it's so great for people, especially my hair. My hair just loves it. Okay, let's go to the second section. So we're gonna do the same thing the whole way up her hair. By the way, I don't actually heat my blonde bit as long as the rest of my hair just because it holds a curl really, really quickly, like that's enough. Another thing that I want to mention, which is really fun, and I was gonna post it, but I don't want to give you guys a heart attack or make you think that I've been at a hairdresser's. On the Redken website, you can play around with your hair color with an app called Modiface. It's really cool. It's a really cool way to see if you would suit a certain hair color, right? So you go on the Redken website, I'll leave a link down below. Hashtag find the hue for you, and there's over 70 different hair colors, and you can play around and see what you'd look like, and it actually is really, really good. So I was on, and I was, I uploaded a picture of myself actually it's one of the first times I did this hairstyle I uploaded one of the pictures and I'll put it on the screen here and it was so cool I really <laughs> I don't want to give Jack back to the heart attack but I really actually fancy myself some teal hair I had teal hair years ago and I've not done it since but I just thought it was really cool and I'm just going to continue this right around my hair once I've done kind of one side if you will light spray of hairspray and um I'll get my Jack, husband Jack, to speed this up for you guys. So we've done the majority. There's a wee couple of bits that I might have to go in to fix, like this little bit here. I'm gonna curl that back the way. So the top, for me, that's kind of where I find it most difficult, to be honest. So I'm gonna curl this little bit to the back first. And honestly, see, just because this hair is quite big and messy and it's kind of like a bed head, isn't it? It can be quite messy, I think. Is that an excuse for my poor hairdressing skills? 
maybe. Okay, so see when it comes to the front, I do a pretty heavy side parting. So you don't have to do this, but I do think it really suits the look. And I do it all back. So I'm gonna get this little bit here. I'm gonna go back off my face. And again, this is a really blonde bit, so I don't do it for too long. That's enough. And you can see it's almost in its own little roll. Okay, I'm gonna get the section behind that. And again, we're going back. Okay, so I'm gonna do this part of my fringe now. So I've done these two. Now let's do this. And again, we're going back. We want it to be one big glam curl at the front. So I'm gonna go back on that bit, right to the root. And when you get the heat right at the root, that's what really gives you that root lift. Slide it out. And this is the bit that you need to make sure that you get, and you're gonna curl that the same way again. So I've curled that whole section. Oh yes. Right, okay. We're looking significantly crazy. So let's brush this out. I'm gonna use the GHD Carbon Anti-Static White Tooth Comb. Uh, I never used to use a comb to dress out my curls until Patrick Wilson told me to gently go in through them all. And you'll see it starts to follow a slight pattern. So I'm just adding a couple of curls where I think I need it. I'm gonna get my Windblown by Redken. This is an amazing dry finishing spray. It adds a lot of volume and texture. And we, we do the butterfly. Okay, so we pick up the hair, give it a spray. See that volume, that width? It smells amazing as well. And if you want a little bit more of a root lift, you can back comb just the very front of your fringe. Once I'm done, I kind of play around, especially if I'm taking a little pick, and I'll just get my hair as wide as possible. So see if you kind of shake it out and leave it. Super big. So you guys, that is how I create my big Hollywood bedhead hair. Thank you so much to Redkin for sponsoring me. As always, I'll link everything that I use down below. I'll also link the Redkin website where you can play around with your hair color as well, which is super fun. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Can't click, wait, I'll do this. There we go. So just a play around with it, right? But trust, add bleh, shampoo, conditioner, and some bleh. Do you know how mommy's working? Don't pull that light. You got that in your forehead. Tiny. You know, some people have just useless skills. I think one of my useless skills is being able to wash my hair without ruining my makeup. <laughs> this is the Redken Play Safe. Bleh. This, oh god, my GHD Oracle, that's not the Oracle, and we're going to curl away from our face to start with, oh god, good start Jamie, good start, let it cool off, give it a wee, hey, <laughs> oh, good times had by all.